What is going on everyone back for another video gonna kind of recap my training from last week Really want to do this every week um, throughout track season just so I can look back and kind of see what I was doing It's nice to have it on Strava, but it's also nice to talk about it a little bit But before we get into the video, I'm closing in on 15,000 subscribers, which is amazing I think I'm gonna do a Q&A video once I hit 15,000 I'll upload a video asking for questions once I actually hit the milestone um, But go ahead and check if you are subscribed. It's totally free and it helps me out a ton So let's get into the training Training from last week. This was uh, December 28th through January 3rd. Um, so Monday, I actually came back um, to college on the Sunday. So Monday was my first run actually back here in Youngstown. Uh, ended up doing a workout in our indoor facility, which is a huge advantage of being here. Um, having the indoor facility is absolutely amazing. I missed it a ton, uh, but did three miles warm up and three miles cool down. So six miles there. And then the workout was five miles. We did um, 2000 meters, um, a 1600, a 1200, and then four times 800. Um, all at 8k pace, which is around 74 seconds per 400 meters, about 456 mile pace. Um, so I went 609, uh, 457, 340, 227, 227, 226, 225, and we had two minutes rest in between the reps, one minute rest in between or sorry, two minutes rest in between the sets, one minute rest in between the reps. So that was a pretty solid workout and 74s felt really good to me. Um, gonna continue to kind of do a little bit of cross country work because we're supposed to have a cross country conference meet in like February or March or something like that because we didn't run this fall. Um, but we won't be racing any cross meets. We'll just race conference i think that's how that's going to work no one's really sure on if it's going to happen if it's not going to happen how it's going to work so i think i'm just going to keep my mileage kind of high which i wanted to do anyways for um track just racing the 5k and 3k i wanted to keep it around like 70 75 for these next few weeks um and then but i think i'm going to focus a little bit more on speed work um and kind of get in some quicker stuff 3k mile pace stuff on the track um, and kind of not focus a lot on 8k work but we're still going to throw in a few workouts and then the next day i did some recovery um, just did 10 miles seven minute pace uh, and kept it on the roads it was kind of rainy that day but uh, that went pretty solid and then uh, the next day um, just another regular run uh, did nine miles and then did some strides um, just another solid day um, getting in those strides the day before a workout is always key and then the next day we did a tempo run um, did a three mile warm-up six mile tempo and then two mile cool down the six mile tempo we averaged 527 pace and uh, the splits were really good, honestly. Um, 533, 534, 526, 525, 524, 523. So, so slowly working down after the second mile. Really solid day, felt pretty good there. Um, legs were a little bit tired from the track work I did um, earlier on in the week, but still felt pretty solid there. And then on January 1st, it was disgusting outside. It was probably like 36 and raining. It was terrible out. So I just ran on the treadmill here in my apartment, um, six and a half miles, 705 pace, just a recovery from the tempo because the next day I did long run, um, 15 miles at 647 pace. And that felt really smooth actually, really happy with how that went. And then to cap off the week, I did nine miles at, it says, Okay, yeah, this is messed up. I ended up doing eight and a half miles. Um, did eight miles plus some strides, but uh, Garmin GPS was kind of a little bit weird towards the end of the week I saw um, with a lot of people and especially with mine. But overall, 72 miles on the week, a solid week. Um, I've been at 70 now for one, two, three, four, five, six, six weeks in a row now. I've been 70 plus miles, peaking at 80. So really happy with that. I think if I can keep it around 70, 75 for these next few weeks and really hitting these you know, strong workouts, I'll, I'll end up being able to throw some pretty good times down on the track. So really excited about that. Uh, really happy with how training's going right now. But yeah, that is basically it for this video. Um, like I said, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be throwing up a video here soon um, asking for questions for a Q&A. And then um, also, if you don't follow me on Strava, all of my training is on Strava. So it's really nice to you know go on there and see that. So yeah, that is basically it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.